Mason, how's obviously the, the recovery going? It's, it's been a while since you've played a senior game. I mean, how are you tracking for round one? No, really, really good. Um, I'd say I've done 95 plus of all the sessions so far. So really haven't missed too much of a beat. Just a little warm back into it early on. And now I've been yeah, going, I think, the last four weeks with them having missed a beat. So it's been good. So on track for round one, I mean, that's the goal? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was the whole plan of the off-season was just to bring it back in nice and slowly to make sure that um, I make a round one team for the first time in, I think, five years I've missed it. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Is that a major focus for you is trying to get through all year unscathed and, and string a lot of games together? Yeah, I guess I've always been pretty, um, you know, goal-orientated and want to do really, really well in all the testing and all that kind of stuff, but it's sort of been more about me being able to make that round one side and be fit for the whole year. So taking a little bit of a foot off the pedal for a few things and making sure that the body's in a, uh, as good as it can be at this time of the year and moving forward. Is that something that you've struggled with? To, like you said, put your foot off the pedal to kind of achieve a long-term goal. Is that something that maybe in the past you've gone a bit too hard too early and maybe you've, you've had that setback that's kind of put you back maybe for a few more weeks? Yeah, if you ask any of the boys, I'll tell you that's definitely the case. Um, Pre-season king, all that kind of stuff, not making it past Christmas, all that kind of thing. But um, it's all fun and games, but at the end of the day, you want to be playing round one, and I haven't done that yet. So. Um, yeah, taking the foot off the gas and making sure that I do make that round one team and making that the focus of the pre-season is, you know, all I've been looking to do and making sure that I can punch out 22 plus games. When, when you have been in the team, you've had some really good runs of form. Do you feel like it's your potential is still untapped because you just haven't seen you in the team long enough? Yeah, I guess having an um, interrupted um, season last year early on and then to the back end as well, uh, yeah, I just don't think that anyone can produce their best footy off the back of sort of what I had missed. Missed eight weeks at the start of the year last year and then coming in um, virtually I'd almost nulls out of pre-season. So it would be nice to make it all the way through and see what a fit um, full pre-season could do for me. Is that injury prone day, I suppose, frustrated you? Yeah, I guess because um, a lot of the injuries I've had have either been things that we could have prevented or things that um, when I blasted my knee, um, yeah, it was something that I couldn't have controlled. So um, it is annoying from that point of view and I'd like to think that I can get my body to, to a point where I am durable, but I haven't got there yet. So yeah, it is frustrating and hopefully I can shake it. After you signed that four year deal, do you feel like now you you want to repay the club, there's a bit of faith to repay? Oh, absolutely. Um, if you're not playing 20 plus games a year, I think um, anyone you know, could look, should look at themselves and go, you know, why aren't I doing that? And I haven't done that yet. Whether it's a four year deal, one year deal, whatever it is, you want to be playing as many games as you can. And um, to this point, I haven't. So yeah, moving forward, that's, that's the goal. How exciting and potent could that forward line be with you up and firing and Wadey, Brown, Majak Door, etc. Yeah, massively. I think, um, you know, fully fit forward line and we're as good as anyone. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to see what we can produce in 2018. Are you, is that where you see your career staying as a forward or do you want to move to the midfield? I mean, you could probably do both, but you've been so successful up forward. Um, no, I'm pretty happy up forward. I think moving forward to at this stage, it's, it's going to be up forward, um, second, third, tall, something like that. But yeah, I have played a little bit on the wing, but um, I think we've got really good wing stocks at the minute that I, I won't be required at all, so happy staying up forward. The club at the start of this year, I suppose, was written off by many and surprised a lot of people by how well they played and probably been written off again going into next season. How do you respond to those claims that, you, again, you're going to struggle? I mean, you can only put your best foot forward at the start of the year. It is a bit of a cliche, but um, everyone at this time of the year thinks they're doing really, really well. Um, it is pre-season and we've got things to work on, but I think what we did learn from last year was in those close games, uh, what we should have done and what we weren't quite prepared for. And I think moving forward, we will be prepared for those close games. So you put a few of those um, games together that we did lose at the start of the season. And it's a really positive year we had last year. So um, yeah, hopefully those losses that we had last year, really tight ones can turn into victories and yeah, really get our game going early on in the year. So what is the expectation? Where, where would you like to see yourself in the next year? Me personally? Yeah, club. Club, um, yeah, finals. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're not here to make up the numbers. We're here to play finals. So um, top eight and then go from there. Um, you know, everyone starts 0-0 zero, zero at the start of the year. So, um, yeah, punch out as many wins as we can early on and go from there. A lot of guys who suffer a lot of injury setbacks often turn to something a little bit different. You know, there's Pilates with a ballet instructor. You know, Collingwood, you know, ben, ben Reid did that. And a few other 
think have you done anything kind of outside the box to, to fix anything? Oh, picking up things here and there more than anything. Um, they had the ballet teacher in, and I might have taken a few, few little toe exercises from that, but more just drilling down on what I can do and um, where the physio team thinks I can get to and making sure that that was the key focus um, versus in the past sort of going, all right, well, I'm keen to get that right, but I'm keen to also run really, really well. So probably went the other way, keen to get everything ready and ready to go around wide day one. So, and everything else will come after that. Is that sort of what you're talking about? Like more core stuff or more biomechanical sort of stuff? Where's the... Oh, so, the, so the calf, um, I've just been doing more loading um, biomechanically, I guess. Um, I don't think I have too many issues, but um, yeah, definitely core and strengthening my hips and all that kind of thing. I think everything stems from your core. So um, as long as I can be strong through that, I think it it'd definitely hold me in good stead for the rest of the year. How's the group made it to just before Christmas? Oh no, we're all going well. Yeah, I yeah. guess we got uh, five days left. We finish on Friday, so everyone's pumped for a big session on the track. I think today's going to be our biggest session for the for the preseason. So I think everyone's super stoked to be this close to um, a few weeks off. But at the same time, it is exciting um, moving forward. Well, for me at least, I haven't played for a long time. So the closer we get to round one, the more excited I get. Give us a player X is training the house down. Player X. Um, or some of the wingers, uh, Deck Mountford, Mitch Hibbard, been going really well. Um, I think Billy Hartung surprised a few people just with his athletic capabilities, super quick, super fit. Um, and uh, Luke, new Luke, um, Davis Uniac has been going really well on the sidelines and he's been chipping in with a few things as all the first years do, but he took a nice little hanger at training the other day and I think everyone was like, I think this kid can play. So, um, yeah, looking forward to see what he can do 2018.